Hello there and welcome back and uh, thanks for stopping by. This is my quick look at Ubuntu 16.04 from the, from the eyes of a Windows dual booter like myself. I currently have Windows 10 and different versions of Linux including of course what you see here. Well it was about 10 years ago since I took my first uh, travels, my first safari as it were into the jungles of Linux and Ubuntu was my first. I liked it back then. I liked it when it changed into the Unity desktop, which you see here, and I still like it. Now, I realize Unity, this hasn't changed uh, in the last five years, so cosmetically, there's really nothing new here, but that's okay. I'd rather have stability first, and then everything else comes second. Now, this test here, this Ubuntu 16.04, has both stability and speed. I am stunned how fast and smooth this runs. Briefly, I have a test machine a Lenovo desktop outdated but it runs it's super reliable just four gigs of RAM AMD Athlon dual core nothing fancy here but so far it seems that this runs better and smoother than my Zubuntu 14.04 in my quad core machine and I gotta be honest at this point I'm not sure which is the lighter weight Linux distribution now over the course of 10 years of course a lot has changed you know Linux has evolved Ubuntu has evolved and of course you know Windows has evolved back then it was Windows XP now I use Windows 10 but so far in terms of sheer speed and smoothness this beats everything else that I use so far I'm not sure why now if you want to get more information about this go to insights.ubuntu.com one thing that is intriguing is something perhaps for the future is the introduction of Snaps. This is a new uh, application, or um, not an application, but a new, uh, a new packaging system, a new package format. And from what I understand, uh, what the Snappy or the Snap software is, and what they do is the, uh, the software includes the, uh, the dependencies and the binaries all in one uh, simplified user-friendly download. Now I have not tested Snaps. I know some of you are having issues uh, installing this and at this point because it's so new I have to be honest I don't care for the Snaps right now. Although if this works out this could be the way uh, software is installed in the Linux desktop of the future. Briefly what I did do to make to tweak this is I did install the um, the classic menu indicator I think this will be a lot more friendlier for beginners uh, I did install uh, Kazam, Kaden Live, Radio Tray and Voco Screen of course Rhythm Box is installed by default nothing really has changed in terms of the music player really f since what 10 years ago I did install Kaden Live uh, this is the latest 16.04 uh, it seems okay. I believe this is still a beta, but I did use this to uh, render the new uh, the news and nonsense report with myself and of course Patrice Cup of Linux. And so far, uh, even in the, in a old dual core machine, the rendering time was quite acceptable. As I said, the usual uh, software is here. I won't go to every single piece of software, but let me just say that the software that I needed uh, to make this into a full production into a full production machine was readily available, and I have not had any issues with this so far. Like I said, unbelievable speed, smooth stability. I was not accepting. Uh, I was not expecting this. I was expecting this to run, you know, okay, but maybe not as smooth in a dual core machine. But this thing flies about the only tweak I did to make it run a little bit smoother, maybe, if it's possible. The default resolution is 1920 by 1080. Uh, I just notched it down to 1280 by 720. And uh, it runs, I guess, a little faster, not much. And, it, you know, and, and the resolution's fine the way it is. I can see this just fine. Another new feature is the ability to move the uh, the launcher, the left panel, the super bar, as I call it. It's not really a super bar. That's more Windows. But this can be moved to the bottom. I've always liked it to the left, so I'll leave it the way it is. Performance-wise, as I stated, super fast. Uh, the dual core, the CPUs here, the dual cores, uh, it's not too bad how it's running. 
Uh, of course, I have Firefox open and the Kazam screen recorder running 1.4 gigs. Sounds about right. And it's running as smooth or smoother than I would have huh, expected. Really, really nice. So check it out. Let me know how this runs on your machine. And I think what I'll do here with this video, I will not edit this. What I'll do now is stop the recording from Kazam play it back and if it doesn't crash I'll leave it the way it is and you guys tell me what you think of Ubuntu 16.04 Xenial Xeris. I'll catch you guys later.